despite the fact that a lot of people love ripping Saturday Night Live as a show long past its prime, there's still no escaping the fact that the biggest names in entertainment still kill to host it and that no one wants to find themselves the butt of the show's jokes, like Sarah Palin. Remember what Tina Fey did to her a few years back? Well, a heavily pregnant Tina Fey was back this week hosting the show, and while she did still pull out her Sarah Palin impersonation one more time. It was to do so in a scene lampooning the entire Republican field of wannabe presidential contenders who love beating up on President Obama, but who are, for the most part, terrified of running against him. And where once Tina Fey had portrayed Palin as a powerful political force, tonight she revealed a Palin more interested in tweeting than in governing and in earning money instead of votes. A year ago, the show did a parody of the disaster film 2012 with Palin being elected to the presidency with catastrophic consequences. Today, her life would be better suited to a parody of The Hangover Part 2. And speaking of has-beens, many of you may remember that it was just a bit more than two weeks after the attacks of 9-11 that Lorne Michaels opened the show by asking then-Mayor Rudolph Giuliani the question, can we be funny? And Giuliani replying with, why start now? Osama bin Laden in America so emotionally paralyzed that we'd almost forgotten how to laugh. But nine and a half years later, Bin Laden is finally dead and his corpse buried at sea and it made an appearance on the show tonight in a send-off of Disney's The Little Mermaid. It was a really funny moment, long overdue, and much better than the opening scene with Fred Armisen playing Osama Bin Laden reading his lost will. But it's shows like this one which keep SNL relevant and worthy of hosts like Tina Fey, and I think it's a really wonderful thing that it's still around all these years later while Bin Laden's become a joke at the bottom of the sea. And yes, Lorne Michaels, you can be funny.